Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to learn to implement the state design pattern. We also are going to continue working on the game state manager. A game has multiple states and it changes its behavior based on the current state. A character in a game also has many states. For example, a character may jump, run, attack, etc. And that's what the state design pattern does. It allows to change the object's behavior based on its current state. Such a behavior of an object is called polymorphism. Let's take a look at the exemplified diagram of the state pattern. First of all, there is a state interface containing a function that will serve as the access point to various states. Secondly, there are multiple states which inherit from that interface and implement different types of behavior like displaying main menu and handling gameplay logic in that function. Finally, there is some context class that controls the entire process. In our case, that would be the game state manager. The first thing we need to do is to create a state interface, as in the diagram, containing one function. Then we need two additional modules, one for menu state and the other for the play state. Next, we need to create a class inheriting from the state interface for each game state. We also need to implement the run functions as well. For the purposes of this example, each state will output a certain message to the terminal window. At this point, all what is left to do is to create the context class. The context should contain the state interface variable and two public functions, setState and execute. The setState function will allow to change the state of the game, and the execute function will call the run function of the current game state. Now let's return to the main function and take a look at how everything works. Firstly, we need to create a context variable. We also need a menu and a play state variables. Secondly, we need to set the current state of the game. Otherwise, the state will be null and nothing will happen. Finally, we need to call the execute function to get the desired result. Compile and run. At first, the state is null. Then we set the state to menu and at the very end we change it to play. Try adding the state design pattern to the game state manager class. I will upload the correct implementation to the GitHub so you can verify the result. The link is in the description section. That's it. In the next video, we're going to learn the observer design pattern and we're going to finalize the game state manager. Have a nice day.